So I was raised on a third generation dairy farm in Big Rapids, Michigan, and our farm um, suffered through the PBB crisis. And if you don't know what that is, that's when fire retardant was mixed in with um, a cow feed and it was fed to our cattle. We are now 50 years removed from the start of Michigan's PBB disaster, which started when a chemical company sent, mistakenly sent fire retardant to a Farm Bureau mixing facility instead of a feed supplement. It took nearly a year for state agencies to figure out it was tainted feed that was sickening and killing cattle all across the state. It took several more years for the dairy industry to recover, but not all dairy, dairy farmers survived the crisis. Our cattle began to get sick and all the cattle were taken from our farm and uh, eventually had to go to slaughter. And eventually the farm shuttered because of that. It definitely um, turned life upside down. You know, the stress of that um, had both of our families splitting up. And, um, you know, it, coming from the farm life of being free as a child and, and you know, running around, your world gets turned upside down. And um, eventually, obviously, I had to start working to be able to provide for myself. Um, because my parents had to start new careers. My dad had never been anything else but a farmer, and um, his first job after farming was actually bagging groceries at a grocery store. His heart broke. This is, he still sees himself as a farmer today. As a matter of fact, he goes over to um, his nephews. His, he's remarried now, and so, and he, he'll drive the tractor, he'll do stuff. He likes to do farming for him. Like, my dad still sees himself as a farmer, even though he no longer has a farm. I wish that in the 70s that wind and solar was around because it would have been interesting to see what would have happened if my dad and my uncle could have leased some acres of their property for wind and solar if that would have got us past the, the time when people weren't purchasing dairy until the time when they were purchasing dairy again. And if our farm could have been four generations or moving on to the fifth generation.